I don't want to put a Marty here. This, this isn't what this lady works here. She worked for the family that owned this place. And she's stuck here because of the way she passed. Oh, what's that? Oh, why? Oh, you, you, D, I. Oof, weird. D, you die. When? Die. In a triangle. Look at that. How weird is that? How bizarre. Look at that. Is there a military symbol or something? Yeah. What does that mean? What does that say? I can't see. I don't know. Why? Why? O. U. D. I. E. Oh, blimey. Why? Oh, it's going faster. Look at that. O. Crying you. Mad. Okay. Who are you? You. Who are you? Give me a name. Or are you too scared? Are you a coward? Who are you? Who are you? I'm not scared of you. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. I A am Y O You. I am you. Leslie, is this making any sense to you? I'm trying to pull as much as I can out of this. Not least of all because um, I knew from the start, actually, that Leslie changed sides. He'd started off for Cromwell and then he changed sides and was supporting um, the Stuart cause. That's what makes this whole thing uh, quite aggressive and quite difficult. Um, and I think that's probably what you're facing. But why it's saying, I am you, I can't get to that yet. Thank you, Leslie. We can't get this, this triangle thing either, Leslie. This, this very bizarre. Would a triangle have meant something then? Does that mean anything? <coughs> something? It, it could be a battle formation. I'm going to have to look at it for you. Okay. Oh, yes. A druid connection, maybe. A triangle, something like that. There's very loud bangs coming from behind Chris and Simon. I am you. Well, who's that? Who the heck is that? Maybe it's me in a... I don't know, another dimension or something really freaky. Of course, got a tradition of druid standing stones in this area. And we've also got Romans here. So I'm looking at both of those opportunities. But the triangle is certainly linked with the ancient um, coming in of the sun. OK, thank you, Leslie. Are you a druid? Are you a druid? I am you. What does that mean? I was going to ask if he's a priest, because he may not okay. be described as a priest. Okay. What does that mean? Where's it going now? Oh, Are you a priest? Are you a priest? Do you believe in bad things? Do you believe in hell? Do you believe in the devil? Do you believe in good things? Oh, fuck me! What? What the hell? What was that? Was that you?
The bedrooms of Dalston Hall will provide a huge challenge to our team tonight. Vibrating and levitating beds, bed sheets thrown round the room, and guests being woken up by people sitting on the edge of the bed. A housekeeper is said to have fallen from the top tower, and her spirit still wanders up and down the stone steps. Why are the ghosts of the past visiting the guests of today, and how can we help their passage into the next world? Welcome back to Most Haunted Live um, here at Dalston Hall in Cumbria. So far a fascinating night. We've heard knocks, whistles on the Ouija board, um, some odd things going on there. Um, we've left the rest of the team uh, down, still continuing the Ouija board with Kieran in charge of that. Uh, myself, Carl, Matt and Simon on camera uh, have come up to the first floor. As ever, George is in the background. Um, and another gentleman uh, who's going to help with the sound cable. OK, so let's just have a walk around here. Um, this is the balcony where, right at the beginning of the show, Carl and Kath thought that they saw a figure just standing at the top here. It overlooks the Great Hall, which is where we saw the knocking and the banging right at the very beginning. Are you clicking? No, what was that? was down here. I heard that. Did you hear it? That was in the Great Hall. Guys? Is anyone clicking down there? Who's making that clicking noise? I was popping my hands together for the room. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's Stuart and the rest of the team doing the Ouija board. Okay. If there's anybody here, if there is a spirit person here with us now, if there are soldiers, if there is a woman present, where's that coming from? Up here. Don't move from that spot, George, yeah? No. Does it sound, like, does it sound here? Just here? Was it from here or through there? It's out of this area, so okay. I, don't, I don't know. What's that? That's here. Okay. Should I go in? Well, it's in here. Yeah. It sounds like it's coming from just that area. It sounds to me it's coming in here. If there's anybody here, please can we hear your voices? That's a really noisy torch, that, isn't it? Really pain in the neck. Where does this lead? Well, this just leads to fall. Oh, does it? Should we go into one of the bedrooms? Well, yeah, if we go we'll back, go here, back that way and then up the stairs. I want to know why. I wonder. I think whatever it is is following us. Thing is, I'm wondering. Let me just ask a question. Oh, my ear still hurts, you know. Yeah. Being banged. Can yeah. I just ask a question? Whoever's with us now, are you the person we just spoke to on the board? No. Oh, I'll ask again. Is this the person who we spoke to on the board? Yes. They're too decisive. Yeah. Do you mean us harm? Did you hurt Carl and Stuart? Are you going to do it again? Well, come on, do it. Pick me up and throw me over the balcony. Definitely not, Carl. No, do it if you can. But don't, you know, do it properly. Lift me up and levitate me over. Don't, don't mess about. Come Slap Stuart in the side of the head. Oh, all right. All right. No. Okay. Now, where's the door that leads upstairs? It's here, isn't it? Is it this one, Carl? Yeah, it's this one. It's a good job you're with me. I've got a terrible sense of direction. Just one with roommate written on it. Oh, one with roommate written on it. You all right, George? You need to be outside this room, or do you need to come upstairs? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. 